It's a travesty, folks. It's an utter travesty. What is what? When doing my research for this episode, I was looking at the Wikipedia article, and there is none. No. What? Nobody's done the summary yet for this episode. What a shame. I should have looked this up beforehand, <laughs> and then I could have taken notes and filled out the article. For shame, Star Wars fans. We thought you were all true fans like us. <laughs> Turns out you're not. You neglected a single episode of Star Wars Ewoks cartoon. Yeah, say, says us who have never written any of these articles. <laughs> I'm just here to watch good shows. I'm here to chew gum and watch Star Wars. Yeah, I'm all out of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm chewing gum. Yeah. <laughs> from halloween sorry it's gonna date this but um what a spooky <laughs> episode for for this this one's not spooky the last one was no i know it wasn't spooky at all no man did you guys see the new trailer for the mandalorian it was good it looks really good yeah i'm jacked i think i'm maybe more excited for that than for the episode nine i am it's a couple weeks i'm having a party with my friends with Are my you? star wars rpg group yeah very cool yeah i'll definitely have to check that out and then later we can all um we can watch it ourselves again too. I'll probably pony up the the twelve bucks or whatever it is. Yeah, it was. Uh, we're thinking about how to how to do that. Are people watching simultaneously? You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully we should be good. Where just um, you know, I can use mine and you guys can maybe borrow it. Yeah. Let us know. We can let our viewers know, and they can all watch it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> can watch. account. You can all <laughs> jump in on my account. His password is. <laughs> I love Ewoks. <laughs> and this is also the password i use for all of my email accounts uh so don't don't try to access those yeah my banking uh online banking this is crazy i got the same password on my luggage <laughs> what is, what is that that's from... that's from uh space balls yeah okay okay um okay this is episode eight it's called the land of the goopins guppins goop Goopins. <laughs> I suppose they are called guppins, aren't they? They call, in the episode they called them guppins. I forgot. It looks like pronunciation because I don't have an article telling me how to pronounce these things. Yeah, what's, that was a, too bad. what's a guppin? I don't know. This was from uh, October twenty sixth, nineteen eighty five. So almost uh, to the day that we're recording. A couple days off. Yeah. yeah. yeah we're recording these way ahead of time. We're, we're getting a. You know, a, what do they call that? A back catalog? catalog. Yeah. yeah. We just love these so much, we just can't help but record them. Takes me back to the to the fall of 1985. Yep. I'm watching my Good droids days. And, and guppins. <laughs> Star Wars guppins. Star Wars tree goats. What? <laughs> that would be a show. The movie. The, a Star Wars story. <laughs> but anyways, I'm Cody. Oh, I'm Aaron. I'm Daniel. And together, we are the Guppins. We are the Guppins. <laughs> you heard Do you guys it here, have folks. your wings yet? No. Every time a juniper chest opens, a Guppin gets in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are like, <laughs> what? What's uh, the Wizard of Oz, the Munch Munchkin Land? That's what this is. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Guppins are, are dumb. Like, they're weird little creatures, but... I definitely like this episode. Yeah, I do too. A lot of stuff in it. Like, man, I hardly can believe that this all happened on Endor. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like its own little fantasy world they created to, yeah, to be in this little pocket of Endor. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Likely never see any of this stuff again, but uh, man. Yeah, but it's out there somewhere. It might, it might pop up in the Mandalorian. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see. I mean, they showed people riding blargs on the Mandalorian, so. There go. Oh, Cross that's true. Over. Maybe they came to Endor and got all kinds of things. Maybe it all takes place on Endor. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, well, <laughs> Endor's looking quite different these days. Endor does look different. It has all kinds yeah. of different places on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have the Endorian grasslands. Yeah. That they are in at one point. And the 
the guppins live like in the middle of a desert yeah this oasis yeah for those who don't remember the guppin the guppins are the uh, little shape-shifting people we only saw one their good friend ring ring yeah did we decide he is not the same cre uh, species as um that guy teak? from the ewok movie yeah he's not a teak no no, no. okay i forgot because they look the same Guppins are very different. Well, I can, as I learned in this episode, they've got all kinds of crazy powers and things. Well, it's just their transformation power. Oh yeah, they have, they have wings, wings, but that's that's a biological thing. Like they just grow wings oh. at some age, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Turns out Ring Ring is like a runt or something. He does not have his wings yet, so he's he was kind of outcast, ridiculed. Yep. Um. But the Ewoks take him in, you know. Yeah, and they like to play all sorts of tricks, like pretending he's a giant monster and scaring uh, their friend who was with them. Yeah, what's their buddy, Poplu? The very basic overview of this is they uh, they meet up with Mring Mring again, and he meets up with his long-lost brother, who tells them they have to go back home to their homeland and save it from these big creatures called the grass trackers and uh there's this magic like key or magic chest they have to open with a special key and it's this whole quest they have to go on with the help of the ewoks the grass guys took their key so they try to get it back so there you go but uh he yeah so he meets with his brother who just sort of shows up all of a sudden or no they rescue his brother from like yeah. a the the, uh, the spider things, um, what were they called though? We don't have a nice article to look at what they're called. It's the thing that um, those one guys were riding. Yeah. Well, these ones looked weirder. Did they? That's what they called them. I'm pretty sure. I think they said reaps. Oh, yeah. I gotta like search other articles now because it's not all in one place. I can believe that. Yuzums. Oh, the the Yuzums were riding a Rakazak beasts. beasts. Those things look <laughs> way creepier. Yeah. Okay. I guess I didn't remember what these looked like. Oh, I see. Yeah, these are weird things. They were weaving webs, which is why I thought they were the same. But never mind. I thought they were gonna be the big spiders from the from the movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was hoping too, but it wasn't. They're always always new things. I mean, I like it, but. They're hard to keep track of. It's right, and then you never see most of them again. Yeah, it's cool. Sure. Yeah, they have a lot of cool things. What were these called? I mm -hmm. thought they said reaps. I don't know how you spell that. Okay. So yes, they're little spindly. I guess they're kind of like spiders, but they only have like four legs, and they're really skinny and just creeping all around. Kind of like scorpions almost, but they shoot webs out of their tails. Mm -hmm. I don't really know so, how to describe it for those who can't see this beautiful Reap's image. You can watch this episode <laughs> and find out for yourself. So they save his brother, and then they, the two of them give us a whole lot of exposition There's about a, what guppins are and how their world operates. Their and, society, and then there's this whole th thing about their, their uncle taking over the throne, and like, it's it's crazy. It's like, it gets it's, insane. Yeah. They give you the, all of this stuff, like, in a, just a conversation, they're to each other. They're not even telling the Ewoks. They're just like, and as you will remember, when your uncle took over the throne. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. We get a lot more character of, of Ring Ring. He's not just some weird transforming, like, uh, yeah. uh, plot saver. Well, he, I mean, he kind he of is, is, but. There's <laughs> much more than that. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, like, it was. Yeah, it was it was all it's interesting stuff. They have an interesting world they've set up, but just the way they explained it to us because it all has to be compressed into 23 minutes. Yeah, you know, they all had to kind of explain all this backstory really quick. And then we're off on our adventure. Yeah, they're basically like, since you helped us save our dad, we're going to help you. Yeah, well, the Ewoks always help their friends. Yeah, no, they're, they're good. They're some good bros. Yeah. You know, you know that they'll always help you out. There's a lot of good Ewok phrases, and I can't, I, I, I'd have to find them all. They definitely say Ichiwawa. That's kind of like a, an expression of like, oh my goodness, or something yeah, like that. An exclamation. Oh, and they, what's uh, the, there's a word that they say for like, an idiot lurdo oh, a lurdo <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you such think a i am a lurdo <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be called a lurdo no man 
they're, they're, yes, they're going to go with Ring Ring and his brother, and they're going to take back the throne, apparently. They're going to get the key back so that the grass creatures cannot kill them all, I guess. So they have to do some ceremony of the renewal, I guess, to get their powers back, because their powers are failing. Oh, right. Yeah, they're saying that maybe that's why Ring Ring doesn't have his wings. It's because the Juniper chest is losing its power because the, the key is gone. But it could also be that, I don't know, he's like a late bloomer <laughs> or something. They said all, all of their transforming powers have been weak lately because uh, they needed to do their renewal ceremony. Yeah. No, I love this... Uh, little establishing shot by the lake there's a tree tree covered with uh fungus fungal growths but uh dragonfly is buzzing around yeah it. some of this fungus like opens up and it's two eyes and then a mouth opens up and it's like a frog tongue he eats this dragonfly it's so scary <laughs> like i thought it was really funny <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarro that's endor like this is the kind of weird stuff endor has on it it's a little joke it's funny it guess. looks like those faces that people will put on their trees <laughs> sure so it doesn't have a big yeah nose. yeah but they've done this in in a lot of these episodes i think i mentioned it uh, i think maybe we talked about it before they just have a lot of really funny little things in the foreground like sure. before they show the ewoks come on stage there's always like a little animal scurrying around. I think at earlier, even at the right at the beginning of this episode, one of them is walking over a bridge, and you see all these funny little things bobbing in the water. It's it's great. Yeah. They don't they don't have to draw all these things in, but someone's just having a lot of fun making up little creatures. Yeah, little transition mm -hmm. things, a nice little short joke, you know, to fit in there. That's very Star Wars. I think they do that in a lot of the movies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, actually, that's true. This is very much like um, in. Uh... Return of the Jedi, which they added in, <laughs> but there's that dog thing that sticks his tongue out and eats a creature. That's right. Yeah. There you go. Taken from droid, uh, from Ewoks. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to everything copied from <laughs> droids, but a few things from Ewoks here, too. <laughs> That's right, because since that was added in, that was to, they must have noticed how great this was. It. Right. Added in the special editions. Yeah. I kind I kind of also just just meant just the idea of yes a little scene showing a little yeah yeah a little scene to start off something they they're still doing that in the the new movies too wasn't there something in the desert by where Ray was at yeah, I don't know when Ray was out scavenging there's some little animal that sticks its head up out of the sand sure they're just they always do things like that but they're paddling along yeah so yeah they're in canoes I don't know where they got these canoes Ewoks have canoes but they probably just built it because they can just right. build things like built that right there yeah they, that's probably true uh paplu's being the big oaf he always is he drops his paddle gosh what's he saying here uh, yeah he says what if i open the juniper chest did they talk about this uh they they said there's a legend that one day no it's a prophecy a prophecy yeah a goopin will open the chest without a key right and he shall be the king automatically the king <laughs> The best king there ever of was. the Guppins. So Papu says, what if I did? And they said, well, be the king of the Guppins. So he's daydreaming about being the king of the Guppins. and Drops his paddle yeah. in the water. And uh, he's got to go swim out to get it. So they're paddling along. And then, oh, no, they run into a, a waterfall like they always do. Yeah, yeah. Didn't see that coming. That's what happens anytime uh, characters in a movie are in boats. Yeah. Jacob Rock's in the bottom, most likely. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> so, to save their friends from falling over, all the Goopins are like, quick, imagine some big blankets. So, apparently, they can turn into like inanimate objects, too. Like, not just like animals. Hmm. Good point. Like, I wonder what their, uh, their limit is. Like, could they be like, turn into a car or a spaceship? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's a cool power, though, that they, they can do that just by the help of everyone concentrating really hard. Like, they were. The Ewoks were just practicing with them earlier. They're just like thinking of different animals, and he's. I think I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. They're figuring out how you know. What this reminds me of is like it's like a kids oh, show, Incredibles. like Dora the Ex. Well, yeah, the way they like Ewoks parachute thing, but it reminds me of like a no, like a kids show like Dora the Explorer, where they're like, okay, now come on, kids, let's all <laughs> <Yeah>. imagine <laughs> together imagine blankets come on you're not imagining hard enough like i'm i'm waiting <laughs> 
You did it. We did like, it. Hey. Yeah. Right. Everyone's contributing. He doesn't talk to the audience, though. But the like the Ewoks are the audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. And then it actually works, too. Pretty amazing. Now they're in the grassland. Yeah. The wild savanna of Endor. What was the name, though? Of what? This grassland. Oh, the Endorian grassland. Yeah, Endorian <laughs> grassland. Yeah. Endor is known for its grassland. The grass moon of Endor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a totally new uh, ecology. Like there's all new creatures. Just the terrain is completely different. Very interesting. Yeah, and some of those giant grass creatures show up. What are they called? Yeah, they're kind of cool. Grass trekkers. Yeah, they're, they're creepy. Like. They are very creeping. Like, yeah. I would never want to run into these things. They're like these giant grass monsters. Their, like, backs are all grassy. And they have, yeah, really long legs. They kind of have, like, crocodile-shaped faces. And just these claws. And, like, nah, I don't know. This grassland, like, the grass is really tall and, like, huge. It makes them look like they're shrunk. You know, like they've all shrunk yeah. down. And then there's these grass trekkers that are like normal size, built for the environment, I guess. But yeah, so the guppins are just like scary. a bunch of little ants running around. Right. Uh, but yeah, we get Tebow calling to his animal friends again. He's getting really good at this. He is. He's some of his magic powers. And they say he's he's calling the grass trekkers back. <laughs> what the heck, <laughs> Tebow? Uh, and the ground shakes. But yeah. Whatever these are. I wish I had an article telling me what these were. <laughs> ants? Mechants? Really? Something like that. Mechants. Mechants. Yeah, interesting. See, that's what I mean. Like, where there's so many new creatures in this one episode. Yeah, it feels like they traveled to a faraway land and there, there's all everything they're seeing is new and different. Mm -hmm. Not really sure how far they went, though. It seemed like a ways. They were canoeing and... Yeah, but, like, did this take them a day? Did it right. take them a month? No. We yeah. don't know. Who knows? It took them two years, actually, to travel. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, they they ride the McCants mm -hmm. to get through the grass. These things also have very long legs, so you need that to get around in the grassland. They're kind of like little creepy bug things they got this long proboscis and... <laughs> proboscis <laughs> proboscis i think they're, they're really friendly creatures though yeah they're they're nice yeah and they uh conveniently shaped so that if you cover them in grass they kind of can pass as a grass trekker which is what they do i mean barely like it's <laughs> they don't like it maybe looks like it to someone who's not looking very hard and isn't familiar with these creatures. But you think the grass trekkers themselves would be able to tell. I don't know. Apparently not. They'd be able to sniff them out. Yeah, I don't know. It's, a, it's like it's a cartoon or something. I can't tell how intelligent the grass trekkers are. No, no. Yeah, the article here says semi-sentient. So, you know, mm -hmm. that could be a pretty wide, <laughs> wide uh, range <laughs> of sentience. Right. All we see them doing is just kind of attacking random things that get in their way and also attacking the guppin kingdom they, yeah they seem to just like randomly attack the guppins and try to get in but the guppins have this huge fortress with this like uh earth wall around it yeah yeah and it's like a it's like an oasis inside mm -hmm. desert all around but you get inside their fortress and it's beautiful and green yeah it makes you wonder what this area was like it's just their little sanctuary yeah i guess but that's why it it feels like a fantasy world in the in the sense that everything here feels like there's more to it. I want to know the story behind it, which is kind of cool that they made me curious about it in just a few minutes of, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some ancient mythology. So they're going to sneak into the grass trekker den and they need a distraction. <laughs> so they throw a paplu under the bus. <laughs> like they barely even uh, plan. He just runs away from them, and they catch him. Gets chased by the creatures. Like, he would have been eaten if they hadn't decided to go attack the guppins at that time. Yeah, it's like they just randomly hear a horn sound, which is apparently the call to battle, and they all just ignore him. Yeah, who blew the horn? I don't know. I was kind of thinking maybe like it would have been interesting if like there was a horn at their their home cuz then the other Ewoks were sneaking in and they could have like 
use that as their diversion. Mm. That would have like actually been a good plan instead of just like leaving Paplu out to die here. <laughs> yeah, no, that would have made a lot more sense. Out to dry in the desert. Yeah. Uh, but they uh, they do get the key. They uh, they find the key. It's on top of this crazy like stone walkway that goes up. Yeah, all of this stuff just looks this, like, like crazy altar looking thing underground. There's some history to all of this. It looks like it was built for some other purpose a long time ago. Yeah, maybe or maybe like. Maybe uh, there's this has been this eternal conflict of the with the juniper chest or something like different uh, groups of different species always mm. trying to take the key to unlock the power. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we might be overthinking it. Do we have an article on juniper chest? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a sacred item to the Gupins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the highly decorated chest was thought thought to provide pa- energy and power to the Gupins and allow them to grow wings and fly. Central or the focal point of the Guppin renewal ceremony, in which the Guppins rejuvenated their power. Wow, oh. exciting okay. stuff! <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it leaves you open to wondering what is all this. <laughs> Endor has some crazy things. <laughs> yep. But yeah, they get the key. They bring it back to the Guppin village. And people are telling uh, Ring Ring to go home because you don't have any wings. Right. Yep. They're just jerks. I don't think it's just about the wings because it wasn't, it was like his dad was the king before. Oh, so is he the rightful heir to the throne? He's the rightful heir, yes. But okay. the uncle overthrew him and they probably. They said uh, nobody was allowed to enter or unlock. Very them. similar to the plot of the the new king <laughs> and droids. There you go. You no, know, Lord of the Rings stole things from he Lord of the Rings. We already knew that's from not Return of the King. <laughs> the droids at no, the Oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we yeah, Return of the King. <laughs> it's exactly Hamlet. like that. It's exactly like Lord of the Everything, Rings. I guess, kind of. Lion King. There's always a, a king who dies and an <laughs> uncle who tries to take over. Yeah, pretty much, you know. They all took it from Ewok. From droids, I gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tale as old as time. <laughs> ring, ring, and the king. Yep, so the king goes to open the chest because he's like i'm the king i can open the chest that's right he can't open the chest <laughs> apparently that it's magical i guess oh yeah obviously yeah only specific people can open the chest even though you have a key it doesn't matter yeah, it's like king arthur or something it it is he says every guppin has the right to try it yeah mm-hmm. ring ring lets him try it yeah yeah and everyone's like because the grass trekkers are breaking down their door. like They're like, we don't have time for this stupid uncle to go up there and act like he's something else. And <laughs> open I mean, they're thing. kind of right. Like, if they had just pushed past him and had a ring ring open the right. chest, they probably could have saved a couple of their places from getting smashed up and destroyed there. Yeah, it's like the uncle's like totally taking his time, and the grass trekkers just bust in and start wrecking the place. The key breaks. It is like the sword in the stone. Yeah. You're going to talk about the grass trekkers, Cody? They're just going a freaking rampage when they I break know. down the door. They just like smash thing. Women and children are running. They're just <laughs> destroying their houses. It's brutal. But it opens the chest and some like magic glow, whatever, wards off the, the creatures. Yeah, they're afraid of it. It's basically like the tree of light. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> same oh, yeah. kind of power, which I guess makes sense. Um, and Ring Ring grows his wings. Oh, yeah. Right. And then he says, Guppins, Guppins assemble! assemble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they all transform. Into either, like, these dinosaur creatures or these, like, crazy the birds. Cox. Yeah. They chase away the grass trekkers. Oh, okay. Very effective. Yeah. It was very effective. Yeah. I mean, that's why they... The grass trekkers were attacking because I think that they knew. Well, they took their key because they knew that was the source of their power. That's like their semi sentience at work there, you know. <laughs> they said their powers are weak, old man. And that they knew that that was a good time to attack. Look at these statues outside of the gates. What is this supposed to be? <laughs> it's a creepy guppin face, that's for sure. Is it? Looks like a flower. I like the plants are zombies, sunflowers. <laughs> 
Weird. Yeah, yeah. And, then they, and then they have a party. Everybody on Endor likes to party at the end of a battle. And Ring Ring becomes the king. And, and he says uh, his uncle can be third in command under his brother. That's so dumb. Why would he do that? Why? Like, this guy clearly broke your trust. I don't know. They're trying to say Ring Ring is a good king. You know, he gives He's everyone a chance. Yeah. Yes. Shows the mercy. But I don't know, man. I think sometimes you gotta lay down the law. <laughs> no time. There's only 30 seconds left in the episode. <laughs> so they have a party. They dance around. There's um, one of the comments on the YouTube video. Play some music. What good leadership looks like. Excellent episode. There you go. <laughs> they, this guy said it the best. And that's it's not our YouTube channel. This is just where you can find the episodes online. It's ya boy Thal Jobin. <laughs> yeah, just Google, th or not Google, <laughs> search for Thal Jobin on YouTube, and you'll find them all. And search for Star Wars Total Rewatch on YouTube, and you can find our Hey, no channel. way. We got a YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if it's been updated recently, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's there. Yeah. Nice. That's the land of the guppins. Yeah, yeah. What a trip. Good. I give it a yub. Oh, yeah, that gets an easy yub. I give it a half yub. Wow. Just to huh? not give it three yubs. Can't give it three yubs. It just didn't feel like a full <laughs> triple yubber, you know? It, it, it kind of is all over the place. I just think it's, like, really interesting. There's a lot going on. Yeah. I mean, two and a half yubs, that's worth a watch. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, yeah. It's fun. Fun stuff, yeah, I like, guy. I liked it. I liked it better than some of them. That's where my votes come from. Like, you know, Curse of the Jindas, pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, uh, if you're going to watch something, watch every other episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, right. We did. We said that. Is, is it still every other episode? Yeah. Pretty much. That's like how Droids was, too. Yeah. Maybe it was hmm. alternating. They gave a bigger budget to every other. And we're, you know, we're comparing these to other episodes of this series. We're not, not grading it against The Empire Strikes Back or anything. Sure. If we're gonna grade, if we're gonna give the entire series a yub or a nub, yes. <laughs> no, I would say don't don't bother to watch this series. But if you have to, here are the here are the ones that are <laughs> worth you your time. To. <laughs> if yeah. you say if you're doing a podcast on Star Wars or something, who knows? Maybe maybe at the end we can do a a, a recap, a season recap or, or a series recap, maybe of the Ewoks and the droids to say which episodes we like the most. Say hey, watch these ones. I'm not even gonna maybe. remember this sure. episode like tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah let's do it T talking <laughs> about these helps me remember them more though. yeah if i was just watching this and then moving on to the next one i wouldn't know yeah and the, yeah doing the edit of these helps me remember yeah. for sure mm -hmm. well does anybody have anything else to add no no sir all right guys well thanks for watching this was ewoks episode eight join us next time we, we get to watch episode nine Sunstar versus Shadowstone. Wow. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Showdown. But yeah, join us next time on Star Wars Total Rewatch. <laughs> <laughs>